Alright, welcome back to Shining the Holy Ark and welcome back to Enrich, which is a laggy town. I don't know why it's like that on a powerful computer, perhaps it's up to the emulator or something, but anyway. Over there is a mansion of the storytellers. Oh, you mean there. They are one of the rare clans who have been here for centuries. Even before the castle was built, they are all magically gifted. Why they don't ever seem to have many offspring? They've always been very good friends to us. Well, people who play magic don't generally get much offspring. Speaking as one of them. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be that guy. The mansion only has got her in this great place for his miracles. The level is trees. The place is an eerie feeling about around it. Oh, fog is always floating around and the weather is freaky. Also, supposedly, no nobody can open the door. The dreaded door. That. Yeah, I can't open the door either. Either help me. So that's also locked. Um, is this the house you meant? The historians? Yeah. Let's see. Celia. The natives consisted of many different tribes. Some were the land, some were spirit shaman, and still others were mages. Most have. Most of them have accepted and learned to live with the arrival of the immigrant peoples, but a few tribes went underground, waiting and scheming for this chance to reclaim what they think is rightfully theirs. So yeah, this is going to be a bit of background. If you are not interested, feel free to skip. Before the Kingdom of Enrich was created, the storytellers lived here, and thus we function as keepers of the old law. I bet you do. Those who said that this land were called natives, the others were called immigrants, the immigrants began... That, that sounds very much like standard procedure, I don't know. The immigrants began to take the land by force and created their own kingdom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I accidentally clicked you again. Sorry, I'll never do it again. Head of the story channelers. Hello, head. Welcome, mercenaries. If you desire to hear the legend of a land, come right in. Yeah, sure. Welcome, youngster. Oh, I'm sitting on his lap or something. I think it's important for you to know about the dark history of Enrich. Now, put my finger in your mouth and I'll tell you. Culture can only flourish when a kingdom of its people work in harmony. However, cultural prosperity can also have a dark side. There we go. When driven by greed, it can destroy a kingdom. Suck my finger. At the root of the th story is the rebirth of the Thousand Year Kingdom. Do you have any questions? Uh -huh. Shh, I'll tell you. A beautiful culture once flourished here under an admin administrator named Innovator. Mr. Innovator. This was before the tyrant Vandal took control of the kingdom. So in Shining Force 3, Innovators and Vandals are more racist, not, but this or races, I think races of gods, godlike creatures, but here it seems like there are persons. I don't know. Under its reign, people lived in fear, which all, with all their hopes and dreams crushed. Ultimately, the kingdom was destroyed by a mysterious power that came from beyond the sky. Legends say Vandal fled and took refuge in a tomb to await the rebirth of the kingdom. Um. <laughs> I'll tell you about the Vandal. It was said that Vandal possessed incredible physical strength and powerful magic. He was a very cruel and evil ruler that was said to have a monstrous appearance and repeatedly massacred his own people to satisfy his whims. His offspring inherited his aspect and soon it was found that they were not affected by aging or death. The Vandal clan has never been numerous, but they are all very powerful. Do you have any questions? Oh, I don't have any more. Well, you seem to have found what you needed. Come back if you want to hear more history. Um, or if you want to suck another finger. And this one's been in my behind. <laughs> Tastes like flowers. Anyway, um, so that's that part. Hello. Do you know Sabato? Nope, don't think so. He's such a kind and respectable person. He heard 
about a sick child and came over to treat him yesterday. I wish there were more people like him. So Sabato seems like a nice character, you know, we were sent by Relix in the beginning. We haven't heard much about her, but Sabato was was sending, I think, the Dragon Warrior and Lisa, Lisa and Basso. Uh, so perhaps those are good guys after all, I'm not sure. And that means in, in that case that Rhodey was the good guy in the beginning. And, and we were the bad guys, something. I found many interesting materials in the labyrinth scattered around this country. Much of my equipment here are made from materials I've found from the places I've explored. However, there are so many tricks and traps that uh, it's hard for a simple dwarf like me to explore much further. I should have studied more seriously. I should have. Stupid. Ooh. This is more like an easter egg than anything else, but here we go. That witch has a creepy henchman who comes to visit her in the tower. I've seen him. He seems... Uh, I didn't catch that. He seems very ferocious. Okay. Um, so there was no easter egg right now, but it's coming. There's a beautiful lady who uses her, the king. What happened to her? She was very gentle and kind. I don't like the new lady at all. Jason, the dog at the tavern doesn't like her either. The dog Jason? Okay. She seems clear, comes close. He starts to bark like crazy. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I guess let's go in into the shop. See if there is anything new for us. After we equip ourselves better, we have planned to go down in the southern cave. Yet, now that I hear that the rock block in the entrance cannot be moved, it's a proper rock block in. If you catch my drift, I wanted to study the magic of the Far East culture and Far East village, which is south and west of here. Sounds strange that Far East village would be south and west. Anyway, what shall I do now? I don't know. But I'm gonna talk to the weapon guy. Let's see, do you have, do we have anything to sell? I think so. Uh, like an additional shoto. Yep. And yes, something else. Yeah, the shield. That's right. Uh, no. Yes. Let's see what you have. Oh, there's a daito and a longsword, power axe, iron stuff. Let's start with uh, fitting out Rhodey because ooh, he needs it. I'm going for attack first. Uh, and my main fighter guys. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, yep. Yes, and I want guess this one. Melody. Yes. Yes. Yes, and I want to sell Kurt. Um, it just increases critical. Oh, I had have to re-equip it. That's kind of annoying that you have to do it like that. Give it. Give it here. Um, for, yeah, I guess you can take an herb, or a herb, uh, yes, okay, now, let's see, so, ooh, yeah, um, now I can sell the mill sword. Alright. Uh, no, I'm good. Yep. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna make you sit through this armor buying thing. So see you in a bit. Right, so I just got a new suit for Rhodey. That was basically all I could afford. 
but it doesn't matter a whole lot now because uh, we're going to go ahead and explore the forest cave more properly uh, is all so which means carefully looking at rocks this is the looking at rocks episode for everyone to enjoy uh, we have this here um, jar yes another thing with a very slow scene something a pixie named willow was found so have a lot of pixies at not at least now hello uh, so that's that and there was another one here right yep and yep there we go there's a snake all right a cobra pot I'm gonna beat you down cobra pot beat you senseless yeah now we're doing proper damage here even melody does some damage well I'm not one shotting it yet but it certainly is a lot easier so that's that fine with that um, and another yep that was from above I guess Rawr. recovered power I'm gonna take that out of him immediately jelly beast you are no more so um, a, a rock eh, it looks very heavy Ooh, scale suit I don't know if yeah it's his old thing so I'm just gonna sell it of course um, now that that's done I guess we have checked that but we can go around oh sorry wrong one yeah just gonna beat you down like the little punks you are. I'm very cocky now that I have new weapons and everything. Kurt doesn't care about your chain flinging. There is a lot of good armor to buy by the way. Ow. Uh, so I, I do like getting some coins to update, update all my gear here. Okay. Is there anything here? Yeah. Brilliant. Angel wing. Best item in the game. Something. Um, okay. So now I can go here. I've been there. Okay. This is where I haven't been. Here we go. Get beat up by my pixies blue worm and then get beat up by me subsequently yep long story short actually short story short um, this is just around like this might be no nothing here uh, where am I? I'm in there. And there's a jar with Mithril. Nice. So I could go back to... Well, 
I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to wait because I don't think I can wear mithril weapons yet. And here we go, another cobra pot. It's fine. There are more pixies to get in this dungeon though. And I am determined to get them. For example, I think there is another leprechaun or something. Just gonna gotta make sure to attack all the rocks or well not attack but check all the rocks and stuff. And that's it. Okay. Um so yeah, just move on ahead. Um, and in here, yes, antidote to her antidote. Sorry, I think I pronounced it antidote when I was little, so it stuck with me. Yep, it's super dark. Okay, um, that's that, I guess. So this adventure ooh, huh, scared me a bit, actually. Um, venture deeper into the cave, at least. Right. Just gonna go for the skellies first. I think they're still the most dangerous with their hell blast and fancy stuff. Oh, double attack. They really hate Melody. And me. Nope, not yet. Okay, good job, Melody. Melody does what Kurt doesn't or something. What Kurt don't. gold and experience so let's magic it up here uh, melody you can heal yourself for now perhaps that was not necessary at this point but why not okay here we go <laughs> Yeah, insta kill by fairies. It's it's embarrassing for you, to be frank. And I'm I'm not even frank. I'm Kurt. I don't know that that joke never get, gets old, does it? Um, and suddenly the music got softer. It it does that that sometimes. Not really sure why, but it's a bug of some sort. Okay, so new areas here. Uh, is let's begin here. Nope, nothing there. Um, nope. He came in from the right and from the back or something. Let's kill the zombie first. It is indeed killed. As is but a. The dreaded Bat A. And Melody also killed Bat B. His less successful brother. It does. It does look heavy. And there's some. Oh, sorry. Okay. And we get some sort of bronze brace. I think that's the one we already have. Melody, you now have braces. Congratulations. Yep, you already have one. Uh, so... Now we're just gonna go over here and investigate everything. It feels cool. It feels cool, man. Yep. 
It's a lot, lot to check here. Um, okay. I think there should be something somewhere here. Um, oh yeah, there's a little guy somewhere. Yeah, a hedgehog. Okay, not interested in hedgehogs. Um, actually, the map shows where all the pillars are. There we go. Worth it. Yes. Okay. I almost. I felt like I was kind of slow there, but worked out. Not gonna complain. Okay. Bye. Any blazes? Yes, blazes. Blazes will be had. Going for melody again. I see. I see. I see. Just gonna kill you till you die. Horribly. Okay. Oh no, it's Bone Slave A. I have beaten Bone Slave A. A. Something here. Nope, just cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. It sure does. Yeah, this is the same one I checked, right? So, three more things here. This. And then let's... Okay. Um, go around here and get a medical herb. For our troubles. A lot of trouble for very little gain. Um, but we're gonna check everything. I told you we were, so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, damn it. It does look very heavy, doesn't it? Okay. Um, so now... Let's go up here and wee! Yes, nice. This makes battle with low level creatures so much easier or so much less time consuming. Yeah, you're dead. You are dead, alright. No level ups yet, but it's okay. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't need to do this actually. Um, let's go in in there. Okay. Yeah, it does. And something. And limestone pillars. Feel cool still? Ah, come on. React to my pu pushing buttons. Damn you. Probably gonna speed this up or something because it's not very interesting. As long as you don't find anything. Yep, and then you will be checked. Look at. Ooh, finally. Reward. We have a succubus or something. Incubus. Right. And jewel. Okay. Hello, and jewel. Sounds almost like angel. I guess that's the joke. Something. Oh. Good. And. Yeah, it looks very heavy also. I found the most important thing here, I feel, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, and there's a squirrel. Or, well, it's not a squirrel, but a hedgehog, rather. Okay, so... 
think that's it. Now let's venture these. Oh, I thought they were. I thought I, I had the right side or the lefty pixies marked, but alas, I didn't. I want to scale it down. Yeah, so if we just get um, some bit more armor, just slightly stronger armor, will make me lose very little life against these enemies. So enemies grow, grow obsolete quite quite quickly here in this game. Ghosts have a lot of HP though. Some reason, 91 goals. Herb. Um. So, oh, yeah, that's just. Oh, nope. The things really don't care about the mushrooms here. Or show them that you mean business melody. Boom. Row. Row. Yeah, they have. They are very serious with their roaring stuff. At least. Ooh, there's chest in there. I can see it. Row. There we go, another level for melody. And to do with magic, that's convenient. Now I can get rid of all the herbs. Ooh. Feather robe, that's the one I have, I think. Um, let's just double check. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, for sure. Um, so, yeah, I was very slow there, but sometimes you have a lot of time to choose your thing. Uh, two Rangos, yes. points of damage. That was all his power. And... Dead. The Rango B is down. No. I don't want to do this battle anymore. Experience points and another level for Rodi. Sweet. Um, okay. Um, gonna go here. Check this out. And a squirrel, hedgehog. Let's go for squirrel with those ones. And okay. So, will you let me kill thee? Probably. Yes. Right, so, Melody... She, she doesn't like these worms. I mean, who likes worms, if you 
depends on where you have them, of course. Ooh, yet another level up. Uh, so, let's just heal a couple of our guys here. We're not in any immediate danger or anything, but just so that I don't have to think about this. Might as well go and heal yourself also. Because you can. And it looks very heavy. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's basically this level. Cleared out. Uh, how much did we explore here? Oh. Um, not a whole lot. Yep. It's very heavy. Um, this is nothing. Nope. Alright, so three more rocks. One more hedgehog. Rocky. Muck Rockerson. Yeah. It's, it's of course it's heavy, it's hard rock. But heavy metal. Okay. Alright, so Oh, just die already. We need to get better at hitting stuff at least. Nope. Yes. And yes. Was that so hard? Couldn't you just die the first time? Um. So, more rocks, more hedgehogs, I'm getting tired of you, you know, just waste my time. Uh, okay. Then I don't remember. I think I checked the rocks in that room over there. Okay. I really need to find that other leprechaun here. They're like a full rock roof here. Dig into the battle tube. Still roar a lot. And they still die a lot. So Oh. Ah. Oh. Fucking hedgehogs. Get out of my way. Just get lost. Nope, nothing. And some sort of flying turtle monster. Alright, so there are supposedly some new areas here, which I haven't checked out. Uh, let's go here first. Oh, sorry. Hello, Mr. Zombie. And Mr. and Mrs. Bat. Nope. Ha! Huh. Boom. So, seems Rhodey gained another special attack, which is cool. So much like in Shining Force 3, they can get multiple special attacks, which I enjoy. Alright. 
bats down on the Batman we ba 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 da boom and the bronze stuff um let's see so our hands are full let's just uh, use something like health thread on Rody or nah let's use it on melody and um, yeah arcane garlic increases magic defense um, sure let's give it to you Kurt just to clear up some space not overly concerned with those stats so nothing uh, here we go you go you guys get to do some work for once you've been all too lazy loitering about just doing nothing Um. Okay, so well, there's quite a lot more to explore here, it seems. Here, yes. Finally, is it? No, it's just a fairy. But fairy is good. I'm happy with fairy. Hello, Iris. Yep. Okay, and let's go back. Explore some more. The music is cool though here. Let's go straight ahead. Uh, yeah. And I think that's that. Uh, hold on a second. Alright, had to check. Uh, there's actually one more thing here, I think. Which is the one I was after. I thought there would be a left blip for charm, so I had to look it up. Thanks, Wolfgang, for his uh, comprehensive guide here. I know it's a bit cheaty, but how could you possibly know all the Pixie locations by heart. Tuck means thank you in Swedish, actually. Tuck. Actually, it's spelled with a C K though. Rawr. Now we have another Hulk here. He desperately needed up a brother, the one I had, so. Okay. He was very eager to get going, that guy. Okay, so basically now I'm just gonna get, make my way back to uh, Enrich, so see you in a bit. All right, so now we're outfitted. Let's see what we look like. Um, perhaps like this. Uh, we have a new shield, new sword for, uh, no, no, not new sword, but new chainmail for Kurt and uh, I'm saving up for a slightly more expensive breastplate later on. Melody has that feather thing and uh, the arm thing, I don't know, and one that looks like a polo pin from Shining Force 3 and then uh, Rody has his glove also. So yeah, we're very well, very much better on defense now. Um, okay, so this seems to be the castle. This is one, what I'm gonna finish up with. See if we can go into the castle and um, talk to some people. Hello. Welcome, Kurt. It's good to see you again. We didn't expect to see you so soon, but since the road was closed, 
so soon since the road was closed, but we have returned, as Relix had has predicted. Greetings, Kurt. We heard that the old hag, I mean Relix, foretold your return using her magic whistle. Oh, so she has, um, hag. By the way, I have a message for you. Suck my ass. You have been summoned to appear before the king. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. So... But, there might be goodies here. Not here, though, it seems. Oh, it's a very dark castle. Hello? The king awaits you in the royal room. Please go right in. Okay. Perhaps I will, perhaps I won't. Suspicious looking wall. It was sure. I'm sure it was suspicious. There, there's a stamina onion there. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Hello, ladies. The elixir and chair floats in the air because of her magic. Her magic is very powerful. With that crystal that is installed in that chair, she sees everything. She scares me. Okay. The sorcerer of Willix performs the duties that once belonged to the sage Sabato. I wonder why the king dismissed him. Everyone respects him, unlike Willix, who everyone fears. Now, no one ever goes to the northeast tower since Willix claimed it. Alright, so... That's a lesson for you there, kids. Uh, respect and fear are not synonyms. Yeah. Look at me, for instance. Uh, people fear me because of my smell, but they don't respect me. Since you guys have defeated Rody, we're all going to be a job soon. Uh, okay, but we have Rody here. You believe in spirits? Yeah, I guess I have to by now. Let's tell you from the other day. Something very strange right there. The Willis Tower. I only got a glimpse of it because it gave me the Willies. Here's my Willie, by the way. But it must have been a spirit, a ghost, or something. Probably. Your pal Forty came back before you did and was worried, wormed his way into the king's good graces. Has wormed. Now he acts like a snob and doesn't even acknowledge you when you greet him. Who does he think he is? Well, he's a great musician. Magician. Musician? <laughs> Such a great musician. Doesn't even acknowledge me. The, queen, the king's right hand. Musician something. Hello, Sabato's wife. I'm gonna to talk to the wife first. You don't have a name of your own, you see, apparently. My husband served as the, as the Chancellor until that hag took over. Now we are obliged to live in this dirty little room. Sabato is a proud but stubborn man. He has told me of the disaster we, which is about to befall our kingdom, and it's horrible. My husband is willing to sacrifice his life to prevent it. Enriched castle was built atop of an old city. Many underground passages still exist that wind along like a maze. Many years ago, people tried to explore these passages and failed to return. Now, no one ever goes there. Why am I telling you this? I can see the fu your future. My name is Sabato and I used to be the Chancellor of the Palace. He looks nice enough. So, I guess he's the good one. Um, let's see. This might be... This music is almost... I wanna live in America. Uh, there's a lot of doors. Looks like it's locked. And that too. What about this one then? Yeah. Sure, it, it sure is locked. And nothing on the pillar. Yep. It's locked. Uh, what about this one? It looks like it's locked. Right. Um, actually, I'm gonna meet you back here next time. This is... I think this is gonna be a long cutscene, so... Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let's get in and meet the king and stuff next time around. If you want to continue watching this, like, comment and subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll see you then. Ciao!